wants to go alive. Raindrops on roses and whiskers on kittens, bright copper kettles and warm woolen mittens, brown paper packages tied up with strings. These are a few of my favorite things. We were somewhere around Barstow, on the edge of the desert, when the drugs began to take hold. I remember saying something like, I feel a bit lightheaded. Ah! Yeah, you should drive. Suddenly, there was a terrible roar all around us, and the sky was full of what looked like huge bats, all swooping and screeching and diving around the car. And a voice was screaming, Holy, Holy Jesus, Jesus where, where are these goddamn, goddamn animals? animals? Dude! 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 Hey, pigs! Did you say something? Hmm? Never mind. It's your turn to drive. No point mentioning these bats, I thought. The poor bastard will see them soon enough. Fucking pigs! Fine. We had two bags of grass, 75 pellets of mescaline, five sheets of high-powered blotter acid, a salt shaker half full of cocaine. A whole galaxy of multicolored uppers, downers, screamers, laughers. Also a quarter tequila, quarter rum, case of beer, a pint of raw ether, and two dozen amyls. Not that we needed all that for the trip, but once you get locked into a serious drug collection, the tendency is to push it as far as you can. The only thing that really worried me was the ether. There is nothing in the world more helpless and irresponsible and depraved than a man in the depths of an ether binge. And I knew we'd get into that rotten stuff pretty soon. A House subcommittee report says illegal drugs killed 160 American GIs last year, 40 of them in Vietnam. Drugs were sent. What dog man wants to go Toke, you poor fool. Sweet, sweet Mary. Wait till you see those goddamn bats, man. Let's give the boy a lift. What? No! Wait! We can't stop here. This is bat country. Hot damn! I never rode a convertible before! Is that right? Well? I guess you're about ready then, aren't you? We're your friends. We're not like the others, man. Really? No more of that talk or I'll put the fucking leeches on you, understand? <laughs> Get in. How long could we maintain, I wondered? How long before one of us starts raving and jabbering at this boy? What will he think then? This same lonely desert was the last known home of the Manson family. Huh? Would he make that grim connection when my attorney starts screaming about bats and huge manta rays coming down on the car? If so, well, we'll just have to cut his head off and bury him somewhere. Because it goes without saying that we can't turn him loose. He'd report us at once to some kind of outback Nazi law enforcement agency and they'll run us down like dogs. Jesus, Jesus did I, did say, I that? say that? Or just think it? Was I talking? Did they hear me? It's okay. It's just admiring the shape of your skull. Maybe I better have a chat with this boy, I thought. Perhaps, if I explain things, he'll rest easy. All right, listen. There's one thing you should probably understand. Can you hear me? Good. I want you to have all the background. This is a very ominous assignment with overtones of extreme personal danger. I'm a doctor of journalism, man. This is important, goddammit. This is a fucking truth. <laughs> Our vibrations were getting nasty, but why? Was there no communication in this car? 
Had we deteriorated to the level of dumb beasts? I want you to understand that this man at the wheel is my attorney. He's not just some dingbat I found on the strip. He's a foreigner. I think he's probably some Owen. It doesn't matter, though, does it? Are you prejudiced? Hell no. <laughs> I didn't think so. Because in spite of his race, this man is extremely valuable to me. Oh, shit. I forgot about the beer. You want some? Oh. How about some ether? What? Never mind. Sounds like real trouble. You're gonna need plenty of legal advice before this thing is over. Oh, yeah. As your attorney, I advise you to rent a very fast car with no top. Mm -hmm. And you'll need the cocaine. Tape recorder for special music. I got pulled court shirts. Get the hell out of LA for at least 48 hours. Blows my weekend. Why? Because naturally, I'm gonna have to go with you. And we're gonna have to arm ourselves to the teeth. 